Hey guys, in this video we are about to explain how to use webhooks to automatically open and close trades, which is possible since the current version, which is version 15. First of all, webhooks are some sort of commands that are usually triggered by an event, like a long or a short signal. Actually the configuration of webhooks is pretty easy for the GooseX bot. First, we need to change the way trades are opened, so we'll have to change our strategy. Therefore, when the bot is launched, go to the configuration page and change the strategy manually by entering webhook. We'll save the configuration, and that's it. The rest will happen in Trading View. So let's go to Trading View to the Bybit chart for BTC USD and choose for the 15 minutes time frame. Now we're ready to configure the webhook, which can be configured in the GooseX indicator. If you haven't added the indicator to Trading View yet, be sure to watch the video that explains all about it. What we're gonna do next is set an alarm for buying and selling events. We'll start with creating one for buy orders, so a build print that opens along. When we go to the second button on the right, which is alarms, we can add a new one by clicking the plus. We'll choose for the GooseX indicator and set the buy event or buy alert as a condition. Of course, if you're using another indicator like Market Liberator for example, you choose that one as a condition. We'll check the webhook option and we'll see a text field appears. To fill in the webhook URL, we need two things. The ngrok URL, that links to our bot, and our API. We have a video available for both configuring ngrok and setting up an API on Bybit, so be sure to watch them if necessary. I have already set up the URLs in advance, so I'll just copy-paste them into the text field. I'll choose the one for buying. You can see it's the ngrok URL, as we mentioned before paste it here. You can just configure the rest of the alarm options as you wish and then you click the create button. Okay. We need HTTP or HTTPS. When we look here, I have HTTPS in this case. HTTP will work just as fine because ngrok supports both of them. So at HTTPS for example, click create and there we are. We can do the same now for the cell. So let's click the plus again, choose the goose indicator, choose for a cell alert. I'll copy my URL for selling, put it here, HTTPS, and create. And that's about it. If you have any questions concerning this topic, you're welcome as always to ask them on our Discord. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.